On today's episode, I have Robert Keeley here, and you have a new pedal. I do. Can we release it? <laughs> we can release it here okay. now. Let's release it. Robert, tell us about this pedal. It looks amazing. Well, I'm, I'm really super proud of it. I mean, it does a lot of things, but I wish Andy was here to tell us a yeah. little bit more about it. It'd be cool if Andy was here, but he's not here. So, who's, is Where that the is door? he? Oh, Andy. Careful, Whoa. careful what you wish for. Yeah. I had no <laughs> idea you I had no idea you were here. I, well, I wasn't, but uh, you know, just something. You were just in town. Drew me. Yeah, I just thought I would come oh. over and say hey. And okay. See what's going Did on. Did you know you, he has a pedal like you? Do you know, it? I was. Con I, it's, it's been about three years, so now we're here. We finally okay. we got there. You want to like help explain? Uh, I, I would. I'd be honored to. Almost I'd be honored to. Okay. See you, Robert. See you. Are you everybody? sure you don't want to hang around? <laughs> I'll be nearby. Nearby. Yes. Never too far. So, Andy. Tell it like what's the deal with this? How'd this happen? This, yeah, it's, it's been a labor of love, and over about the course of three years, uh, we finally got to this point. But obviously, delay and echo is a big part of my sound. I mean, it's basically never off. Somebody once described it as it's not an effect for me, it's really part of the sound. And at a certain point, I, d I decided just to try to seek out who I might be able to collaborate with for this type of delay platform. And our mutual friend, uh, Daniel Steinhardt, with Gig Rig, just thought yeah. maybe Robert Keeley would be the guy. And I think we even talked about it, and mm -hmm. you're like, yeah, Robert. Rob would be amazing at this. And so we talked about it at NAM, and as, as things happen, there's everybody's so busy. And then COVID happened, you know. Mm -hmm. But over the last year, we really dug in with basically what I wanted to get was like just the ultimate dual echo sound. Because for years, I would either use a couple of Echoplex CP3s, and then for a while, I was doing two Memory Man, or Memory Men, as we established Memory earlier. Yes. You know, running, running into each other. And then the timeline was kind of replicating those things. But I'm a simpler guy that I don't need a thousand presets and too much flexibility. This is the perfect thing. It basically, the, the, the main idea was to just to get my sound in a, in, a, in a smaller box. That sound on its own, which is what it comes programmed with, you turn the pedal on and it's instantly my sound. Which so they, is, do which they, is they get cool. like your skill and talent? They get, it comes with the two licks I have, the two licks. Okay. But it is capable of just other basic delay things like just a single dotted eighth or a quarter. But the main thing for me is it's my sound. You know, and then I can have alternates if I, if I need a couple yeah. others. Yeah. It's like uh. a feat of engineering here. It's incredible. Yeah. Stereo, expression, lot yeah. packed in there. This is way over my head. I'm glad Robert did it. <laughs> well, let's do some jams. Typical Great. show format. Awesome. What do you want to do first? Uh, let's just start with the signature sound of the pedal, which is called the halo. And the reason I've called it that, it's, it's, it's kind of how I imagine the tone if I were to visualize. The, as the, the basic tone, the center of the note stays where it is, and then the echoes gently kind of feather away, but actually start to detune. This is deep. At the end, kind of replicating the, the funky tape, which the Memory Man did a good job with the, the modulation on the repeats. And so this, to me, is the most refined version of that basic sound. And so this first jam is definitely, this is the that, that main patch on through the whole thing. I'm, I'm playing with a slightly broken up clean, ish tone and then okay. I get into what are your drive pedal like tell us so it starts with an exotic rc into my carl martin dual compressor and then when i switch into a heavier tone it's the jhs at yeah because we did a signature pedal we did, did, oh you we did i don't want to brag or anything yeah let's jam you want to jam it, yeah i would love to jam let's N do it nick's We're, not here why is nick not here uh, there's some grievances or something so addison can you Was play it? drums yep i got it and then can, i'll I'll hold the bass down. You got the bass? I can play You're bass. You're a bassman. You have a bass. I play bass. He does, I've been known player. to play bass. All right. Yeah. I like it. All right, let's jam.
That's pretty good, Andy. I mean, I would have done everything you did differently, but I'm stuck on bass. <laughs> Sick burn. And a fine bass. Yeah, a fine there's, bass. you know, there's a real lack of art or grunge, I would say, in a lot of your playing. Oh, uh -huh. that's fine. Okay, well, you know, the pedal well, sounds good. There's though. still the pedal. Thank you. I think the pedal is great. Yeah. But, but there's always room. Maybe we get a little grungier later or something. Yeah, maybe. You know? yeah, still, I'll be on know. bass, so. I'd love to switch. Nah, I'll, I'll just sure? I'll just play the part, and the music will suffer, hey but guys, it's fine. Hey, guys, we can move on. What's another sound? Let's, let's do another Okay, jam. the way I've got the pedal set up, you've got, there's four presets, and each preset has A and B. Is that eight presets, or like? Mathematically speaking, yes. Okay, math is hard. It's pretty good, as it is for me. But that's pretty amazing, so there's eight presets, which is actually way more than I would normally use on something that has a thousand presets. I'm your, I'm normally using yeah. about two sounds a night. But for this jam, well, let's do something with like a dotted eighth kind of edge thing where you're actually playing in time with the echo, okay. right? Something like that. So you can play like the edge? No, I wish I saying? could, I wish I could. You know, just practice. I could. If you start working that I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that. do it. The, the yeah. resolution is strong. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna resolve is. I'll work with you later and show you. Let's do the jam. Yeah, he could, he could, yeah, I yeah. could learn. I like to learn. <laughs> Have good timing. And I technique. try. Like, I try to yeah. play in time. I uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually played through a Klon. I, I didn't thought see it was a very, Klon. I don't see a Klon close. on your board. Oh, I can't afford the Klon. Well, yeah, well, that's why you don't sound good. Sick bird. I had the bass <laughs> running through the Klon. Yeah, laugh that was now. A good, no, it's a good bass tone. I'm, he yeah. does. He actually. So had I the really bass held it down too. It did. Know? It didn't. And, and it elevated the, the value. I know of the that track. a lot. A lot of. People are gonna watch. Andy plays guitar. Blah blah. I played bass listen through a clon, to, and he didn't. Bass. He didn't play bass or guitar <laughs> through a clon. Next, third jam here. Yes. Uh, let's do something with just what would normally be my second sound, which is like a slapback. Just okay. to add a little thickness, kind of an old like tape echo kind of tone, and get a little grungy at this time. What maybe. kind of mood? Like, what do you want to go? I'm for? thinking grungy. You like throwing down the. I need to be more grungy. You're gonna play grunge. I want some okay. Ish. Well, I like to rock. All right. I'm gonna use the clon again. I don't want to brag. <laughs> and then I have a pick here. Did um, you charge extra when you use the clon for bass tracks? This is a tracks? really special pick. Bass it pick. was given to me by someone. I'm gonna use it on the bass. And all you bass pick haters can kiss it. Oh, Let's I love bass picks. I'm a bass, bass pick lover. You like the bass pick? I'm a pick lover. Let's use the bass pick. Mm. Grunge it up. Love Grunge it. it up, Andy. I'm, go I'm gonna try. Grunge it up. I'm gonna try. Okay.
He's gunning for next gig, isn't he? He's like, uh, yeah, it sounds great, but man, a little over. I'm like, gonna text Nick. Yeah, hey, I think Nick, he might want Addison to... has that cocaine energy. <laughs> gunning for it your worked job. for the it worked for the track to a point, you know. Yeah. But, well, it's a band meeting. He's not a real good drummer anyway. Band. Sick burn. He sounded great. He was like, in a metal two... band in high school. I, don't mind metal. I heard some of it. It's only one kick drum though. Yeah. yeah. It was awkward though. Almost can't move on. From Do you it. think? Well, yeah. No, I think we should. There's one more. Yeah, let's do another one. Try. Let's see if we can get him to chill out. Okay. I'm right here. All right, we need. Uh, let's wrap it up with a fourth jam. And I just, yeah. I just want to say, I've been pretty hard on you. Uh, truth oh, is, I hide that. behind my failures. I'm not a good guitarist. <laughs> You're a great guitarist. You come in here, dancing fingers and all that stuff. Oh. I just play grunge. You know what I'm saying? You play quite well. I enjoy the jams you do. Oh, I don't. I, I don't do. Well, you need to I don't like anything. I embrace do. the love that you're. I'm giving you. There's therapy right after I'm this in, session. I'm in therapy right now. Right, everybody should yeah. be. What do you want to do on the fourth jam? Let's just. Well, again, Addison deserves another chance to kind of dial it back. Okay. We had that. We that, do need we him to chat. dial back. We had that chat. I was almost embarrassed. I was, it was fine. I'm going to set up another uh, preset that's got the halo sound, but also just a straight quarter note if I just want something a little okay. simpler. Chill. Like, spacey. Like, chill back it, it way just, up. Let's chill it out. Let's back it way up. Good idea. I'm really sorry. No, I'm fine, man. No, don't take it away. I, I feel like I hurt you. I love you, man. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I mean, I, I have a hard time saying I love you, too. That's okay. I'm just, that's, as long as I even got that. I uh, wasn't really close to my dad. There's, like, tons of issues. It's jam time. Okay. It's like, it's kind of like if Steely Dan scored L.A. Law soundtrack. <laughs> Did you ever watch L.A. Law? I saw it maybe a couple of times. I was, was, busy, I was busy practicing. Well, it went into your heart because we just played it. Well, we played the crap out of some L.A. Law. Addison was awesome, wasn't he? He held he it back. back. He really took to heart. He's a good drummer when yeah. he does what he's supposed to do. Well, he did a great job. Yeah. My bass? Do you have my bass? Yeah. You've like had some really nice melodic lines in a twining kind of yeah. thing, you know? 
D minor. It was good. Before we go, what yeah. did we not hear? There's more sounds in this. So yeah, there, there's a couple other multi taps in there. There's um, there's one that's kind of like a like the the old Miyazzi uh, tape echo that Hank Marvin had. Oh, like a tape, like a tape echo. You, you just happen yeah. to have one right here. I carry one around. This is my this is probably my all time favorite. That's the my, the Maestro Echoplex EP3. You have has several. The, I have several. So has the flutter and the... it's got a bit of the flutter when it's when it's working or not working just right. You know what my favorite part of an Echoplex is. It never works. It is but the truth. This always works. So there's the thing about reliability and, and and consistency that this really, you know, hit the home run for me. You know, on a lot of records, I would use those and still like them if for certain things when you yeah. can get them working properly. Yeah. And I would also use the old Electro Harmonics Memory Man. Though I haven't seen one with the blue face. Them. I always had a black face. I have all the different colors. You've, I've, you've got quite a collection. You can play guitar better than me, but I, have I don't more know about pedals. that. I have okay. a lot more pedals. So I would use two of these together and have one kind of, uh, you know, the dotted eighth drive and the quarter note. That's insane. And, and these are great. How did you sync them up? Ear you left it ambiguous, like kind of. Yeah, because I never had to worry about tap tempo. I would just okay. get a setting that had the right feel and the sound. And these did a good job of because of the modulation on the repeats, it gets it close to that perfect flutter of the tape. They're but always broken as well. Always broken yeah. down. Yeah, you know, we finally had the switches removed, so they were just hardwired to be on. We at one point had these pot pot hangers on the volume that I could reach down with my foot. You know. <laughs> then when I got you know some of the more modern stuff, I would try to basically get those sounds into you know, the timeline or whatever it yeah. might be. And those did a, a really good, I would call it like 90% of what I was hearing. But then finally to getting together with Robert and Aaron and, and Aaron Tackett to further define what it is I loved about these, but improve from there, which I was, I was pretty amazed. I knew it would be really good, but they even got it better than I thought it was gonna be. I know it sounds like a sales pitch, but, but it's the truth. So now I've got all of the warmth and stuff I love about the tape and the analog in this size pedal with expression. And, it, and like I say, it's just already got my tone in yeah. it. Yeah, this platform, if you haven't seen this, go check out the Hydra. There's also the Echoes, so they're mm. building on this platform. It's exactly. pretty amazing. And I'll say for someone like me, mm. I get really overwhelmed. Like the yeah. Strymon timeline is amazing. Oh, it it's is. It's, it's unbelievable. And for a lot of players, it is what you need to go buy. Yeah. But like this is so much more like digestible for right. me because I use like two, three sounds. That's what we were saying. I, I yeah. always have two sounds, but now I'm spoiled because we do have these other patches in there that I love. Yeah. So I'm I'm expanding a little bit. But the main thing was to have the two sounds always available. You know. And thank you, Josh, for having us on. What a freaking cool thing that you do for the whole community just embracing everything and it's not even your your product but but here you are uh being a champion for it and i love it freaking awesome i love everything robert does everything you do thank you man. i did do a pedal with you first though you did, yeah. <laughs> and it's very nice first oh. years ago actually it's That's kind of embarrassing how late robert is to the game let's do record time yeah let's do it it's embarrassing well it's an honor to be here doing record time you might be shocked to find that i've picked the beatles but very specifically, um, I'm picking the Beatles today. Um, that the Meet the Beatles record has the I Wanna Hold Your Hand, I Saw Her Standing There single on it. And the I Saw Her Standing There guitar solo is, is one of my earliest musical memories. And something about that that's important for me today being here with the Halo delay is that I've always loved the sound of George Harrison's guitar on that. And it was just one of the reasons is it's soaked in reverb. It's got such a vibe around each note. It just had this magical kind of a halo thing to it. So to see this record in here, I get emotional when I see this record cover because it just, I hear that sound instantly. Um, so if you haven't checked out the, 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 the first American Beatles Capitol record called Meet the Beatles, it's quite special. And uh, even, even predating that, uh, this is the collection that was introducing the Beatles um, in the UK, the first record they made, it's infamously made in a day. They literally made the whole record in a day. And if you just watch the Get Back Peter Jackson film where it took four weeks to get almost a record together, things changed over the period of time. But in, in this time, they would just go into the studio and record live, top to bottom, all their tracks. And there was only two tracks, so they might double a vocal here and there. But what I'd love for you, if you get a chance to check out the early Beatles, the stereo version, the stereo version is important. And I want you to pan left, hard left, and just listen to Twist and Shout in one channel. One channel will be John's microphone, vocal mic. The other channel will be the band. Okay, so whichever you start with, I would recommend starting with the band side and listen to the sound of the band. And it's a really nice, tight, polite rock combo. 
and then pan over and just listen to John's voice. A, you're gonna hear John Lennon in your face if, with this the most amazing vocal at the end of a day and his voice was shot. But you hear the magic of the room. You hear the band playing, but over here's the sound. It's like this, it's close mic'd over here, but then in John's vocal mic with the heavy compression is all the room sound coming in. And when you put the two together, that's the magic of the of the band track is John's vocal mic and the bleed that that had. But in the stereo version, you can hear them hard pan and it's freaking magical. I hope you'll do that if you have a system where you can pan between the, the left and right. Anyway, peace and love. Beatles, love you. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Thank you for uh, dropping this on the show. It's It's been an honor, man. Yeah. Love, it's, love it's to do good. it through, through your show. I wish I could do stuff cool like this. You can. This is quite me. a feat. <laughs> and Andy, thanks for being here, man. What's that? Yeah, just thanks for... Be careful with the records, okay? Oh, no, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's fine. It's Pet Sounds. <laughs> you going to hang around? you going home? No, no, no I'm going to play some records. Okay, well... Hit like if you like this episode, subscribe to it, click the bell icon for notifications. Also in the description below, there's a link. You can jam along with me on bass. Addison is playing spider monkey drums and uh, you can play rhythm for Andy. That's super well, that's fun. That's what it needs. We needed a good, yeah, we we need a good rhythm. We there. did need some rhythm. With also, lots of, lots of the delay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Is there anything else? I don't know. We're just ca we're just hanging out. Just yeah. hanging out. This is out. the way we sit when we hang out. This is one of those episodes like hard to end it. <laughs> we don't want it to end. We don't want it to end. Does it have to end? Check this out today. <laughs>